So with that being said, um, just wanted to get more so into the technical part of things and the natural resonance part of just life within itself because of course there's a hybridization of tech and how we connect with each other. So I don't know if some of you have noticed because I'm not, I don't, I, I can't really get a feel of how many people are aware. And when I say aware, I'm talking about how many of you actually can tell this is off. So, uh, before I get to that, and I need to be bold with this, if any of you guys have appreciated anything that I have contributed to this space, then that has to be something that, there has to be some kind of support in that. Um, I, I actually released this on Instagram for a little while and I appreciated the help from before, but I'm here in California and I have a place to stay for now, but I've literally run out of funds. And there's a reason for that. It's not because I'm not working or it's not because I'm lazy. It is be literally don't know what the difference is on being alive or dead. They don't know what it means to be alive. So if I'm able to answer you and say, yeah, I'm alive, I'm speaking to you, I'm answering your question, therefore, yes, I'm alive. Most cases, the answer is no. Even for some of you watching this video, you may not actually be alive. You may be possibly dead if you want to call it that, if there's a such thing. Now, I know most people know this to a specific kind of level. We see it in movies, we see it everywhere, but there's a, there's a state of emergency right now that I sense because there's a lot of people who are still awake and still very much alive during these times of resetting. Um, and it's not a normal or typical reset it is more so of literally trying to get rid of original resonance. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> so it is based upon uh, original resonance. So whatever is considered to be original resonance is no longer seen as value once it's been copied. That is no secret to a lot of people who are on the inside of things. However, the reason why it's a state of emergency is because usually when we inspire other people, we inspire people with the intention to live with who we inspire, to be surrounded by the inspiration itself. Nothing's really original in a sense because there's always inspiration that comes before, but there's a natural process of there's a natural process of development where original inspires an original resonance that creates a different kind of originality that continues on and it duplicates itself naturally. I would think that's common sense. That's just how the world, the world within itself is self-sustained. If you allow nature to just be what it is and allow nature or the natural resonance to duplicate itself without cloning itself or without trying to create, it will create. And it will create in a way that allows everything to even itself out in a way to where it's sustainable to live and progress. And I keep using that word progression because it seems like whatever system that has taken over, whatever programming that has taken over the world, because it's global. PM. Very odd. Light source. I'm 
almost 8 p.m. Hey guys, so I just wanted to share with you, this is the ocean, here's the moon, this is the west, this is where the sun just sat, set behind that cloud mass, and then we have this thing here, which is to the east, or I guess it's, yeah, Big huge bioluminescent cloud mass or something. Crazy colors. So yeah, all the color is on the opposite side of the sun. Well, right now at least. Some people are taking So, uh, the memory within itself, it's is that we hold near and dear and the experiences that we absolutely hated. This is considered to, you know, new memories being created, but if they're looping memories and people are not aware of the repeat of it, it develops, it's like an overdevelopment of cells. So when you overduplicate a resonance or a person, of cells within itself, when you over, You overproduce cells in one area of the body, it develops cancer or it gets sick. When we have too many memories involved and you have not enough people to process those memories correctly or naturally, that's a problem for everybody. And that's what this pandemic is. And the thing about that is It's okay, so when we when you have too little space and too much information, there has to be a responsibility of clearing out the information, right? So we say, okay, oh, virtual reality because it is that to an extent, but there's more on and there's a complexity to it. For those who think that this world is just data, just information and That's cool, but there's still more to the design.
which is too complicated for the system. Thank you, Gigi. I actually did it um, to the message just in general with the information. Um, And when you do that, you clear out the, the programming or programmer or consciousness that says, let's take this, keep this, and let's remove that. That is dangerous to people who do not have their own rights to keep or remove what they choose. When you have programmers literally saying, Okay, so we're looking, at, it's more automated. It's an automated system of just a loop. Uh, is born of decisions for your future and your legacy or your like whatever it is, your, your current experiences. When you allow a programming to do that, they're going based off of automation and information and not resonance. And that's the problem. So what I'm witnessing here is just a data filled. Uh, uh, that people are living and they don't realize that they're living. And you have those who realize it and they're stuck. They're just like, where's my people? Where, where, where's the connection? Why does this feel like a watered down reality? Why? What's happening? Why do I feel depressed? Why do I feel uninspired? I can meet a program or a new program that placed an original program. Within its life. So when we're talking about even the masculine feminine side of just the brain and how it operates, just being human within itself. Most of us know that the feminine side is that side that holds the space. And the masculine side is that side that decides what to do with the space. But the thing about that is if the consciousness of both of those sides within yourself, 